Hey guys, it's uh, October 4th, and Obamacare just went into effect October 1st. Um, what you just saw on the screen, anybody who knows me personally knows I've been fighting a serious uh, pressure ulcer on my hip. And the only thing that's healing it right now is this is what's called a wound back. Um, it provides negative pressure to the wound area um, and increases blood flow. Um, so it's a medical device. And um, the only insurance I have is Medicare. And anybody who knows me also knows I don't believe in coincidences. Um, I'm not going to heal without this back. Now, I've had this thing for about nine or ten months and it hasn't been an issue. The day after Obamacare gets implemented, the nurse who uh, comes in. Uh, changes the dressing on this thing. She told me today she got a call yesterday from the company, KCI, and uh, they were wanting to uh, basically take my back back. And she asked them why. And they take measurements of the wound. And if they don't see improvement, then they discontinue the therapy. Well, I've been improving and either there was miscommunication or fabricated numbers they called her with a set of numbers that were not the measurements of the wound and so they were wanting to discontinue and come take my back by which wasn't the case uh, she gave them the most recent numbers and, uh, but I'm just I'm making this. I want to know if anybody else on Medicare has ran into any problems with medical equipment, um, whatever it may be, or services since Obamacare was implemented. Um, I don't believe in coincidences, and with this happening a day after Obamacare goes into effect seems to me that there's probably new rules and guidelines and they're looking for any excuse to jerk this thing away from me because it's not cheap to rent this out um, and after 13 months most equipment you inherited so uh, they know pretty soon they're gonna have to give this to me unless the therapy does stop and it's, it's a heads up to anybody on Medicare Make sure they're not trying to pull the wool over your eyes and do something sneaky to you. And if you have been a victim of it, leave a comment. And uh, fortunately, my caregiver straightened them out. And they got the right numbers now. And uh, looks like I'll be left alone. And if these people come to your door, you don't have to answer it. They can't tack it off of you. That's assault. It's not like they can come and rip this thing off of you or take your oxygen or whatever you need. Don't answer the door. Don't answer their calls. And remind them if, uh, if, they, do, if they do try to do anything by force, that's assault. Um, I'm not putting up with it. Anyway, just a heads up on a, a vomit care. You got anything to say? World's listening. Uh, I think Obamacare is totally wrong and it's going to destroy America. And yeah, what about the government shutdown? You were worried about 
Get in your veterans, Chuck. Yes, um, uh, He's disabled. He was disabled from the Air Force. American US. That's my pop. Hate to put you on the spot, but I'm pissed. You know, do you think it's coincidence? Do you think it's coincidence a day after Obamacare that they call uh, they call the home health agency and say, oh, we got some wrong, we got some dimensions that don't look so good. We're going to come take you back." I call I call bullshit. How about you? Uh, all right. Well, yeah. This little thing's keeping me going right now. So, let me know. You ain't got to put up with it.